Today I would like to share with you a prayer that has become a favorite of mine over the years. I call it the Servant Prayer. Others call it the Courage Prayer. I first heard it when I was visiting Bethel Lutheran Church in Fresno, my former home church. It happened to be Confirmation Sunday, and this was the closing prayer offered to those newly confirmed. For whatever reason, this prayer grabbed my attention and really spoke to me, and it has continued to be a prayer I return to over and over again, and I'd like to share it with you now. Lord God, you have called your servants to ventures of which we cannot see the ending, by paths as yet untrodden, through perils unknown. Give us faith to go out with good courage, not knowing where we go, but only that your hand is leading us and your love supporting us. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. This prayer has been included in our Lutheran hymnals since 1958. It was written by a member of the Anglican clergy, Eric Milner White, and it can be found in our current hymnal in the evening prayer service. The prayer begins with the words, Lord God, you have called your servants. God's calling is such a profound aspect of our lives as people of God. God calls us. God calls us to be servants of God who travel this earthly journey not knowing where God may be leading us, but knowing that there is purpose to the journey. We are called to this journey, called to live out our lives as the people of God, no matter where that may lead us. I think of those confirmants just beginning this life journey, many probably not the least bit concerned about their future at the age of 14, but life will teach them as God will lead them into their future. This prayer always reminds me of a painting I once saw and have been able to find since. It was a triptych, three medieval style paintings put together to tell a single story. The first picture shows a handsome young man astride an equally handsome white horse. He's full of confidence and he looks forward to the journey ahead of him. And in the distance, he can see the castle on the hill, his journey's end goal. He foresees no problems ahead of him. But in the second painting, life has drastically changed for this young man. We now see what the young man could not see from his starting vantage point. On his journey, he must now pass through a deep, dark, foreboding valley with twisting paths and skeletal tree branches reaching out to grab him. He can no longer see that castle in the distance. We know this young man's journey to some extent, don't we? Life will always throw us unexpected curves. And I think this is where this prayer most speaks to me. Life brings us paths untrodden, journeys we never dreamed of having to take. Life brings us peril. We aren't as invincible as we once thought we were. But in the midst of this venture we call life, uncertain as it may be at times, we pray for the kind of faith that brings us courage to face whatever may come, knowing and trusting that God is right there with us on the journey, leading us and loving us, bringing us back to the right path when we stray, supporting us when we have little strength to go on, lighting our path with love and forgiveness, with mercy and grace. In the third painting of this triptych, our young man is no longer a young man, but worn and tired, and he approaches the castle at last he has arrived. His journey is ending. As a hospice chaplain, I spent a lot of time with people on this final part of life's journey. And I shared this prayer with so many of my patients as they struggled with the dying process of not knowing what to expect. Dying was unknown territory. This prayer gave them courage to know that God would be with them through that dying process. That same hand would be leading them, that same love supporting them. You know, sometimes it seemed so little to offer to my patients, these mere words that offer this intangible presence of God. And yet it is the greatest gift we have been given, 
the greatest gift we have to share, Emmanuel, God with us. And I found that I was able through this prayer to assure my dying patients that even if we don't know exactly what is to come, faith gives us the courage to trust God once again, to trust God to complete the journey with us, and to know that that is enough. It is everything. Would you pray this prayer with me today? And I hope you are blessed by it as I have been. Lord God, you have called your servants to ventures of which we cannot see the ending, by paths as yet untrodden, through perils unknown. Give us faith to go out with good courage, not knowing where we go, but only that your hand is leading us and your love supporting us. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.